Hi. Now in this last part of the question, we're asked to find the volume of the solid produced when the region bounded by the curve and the lines x equals 0, x equals 2 and y equals 0 is rotated completely about the y-axis. It's got hence here as well, so it generally relies on the previous parts. And so what I've got here is I've put in the previous part which was the volume when this particular shaded region was spun about the y-axis. It was pi over 2, all multiplied by 3e to the power 4 plus 1. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, do come back when ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Well, the volume that we're being asked to find is this one here. It's bounded by the curve, the lines x equals 0, x equals 2, and y equals 0. That's this area in here. And we are spinning this about the y-axis. So what kind of volume would it generate? Well, to work out that volume, all I'm going to do is work out the volume of a cylinder when we rotate this about the y-axis and then subtract from that the volume that we found in part 2. So we'll just say that that volume, okay, volume equals, and it's going to be the volume then of the cylinder that we get, okay, when this is spun around here. Let's just do a dotted line down there you can see you're going to get a cylinder like this, OK? And that will be the area of the base. It'll be a circle, so it'll be pi times the radius squared. The radius is from here to here. That is the value where x equals 2, corresponds to this point here, OK? So it'll be pi r squared, pi times 2 squared, multiplied by the height. And the height is our y value, which is half e to the power 4. So we've got half e to the power 4. So that's the volume of the cylinder. And from this, we subtract the volume that we got from part 2, which is this result here. Pi upon 2 multiplied by 3e to the power 4 plus 1. So it's just a question now of simplifying this. So for this first term here, we've got 4 times a half, which is 2. So we've just got 2 pi e to the power 4. And then if we expand the bracket here, we've got minus 3 over 2 pi e to the power 4. And then minus pi upon 2. And if we simplify this further, what we've got is 2 pi e to the 4 minus 1 and a half pi e to the 4. So that's going to be pi e to the 4 over 2, a half pi e to the 4, and then minus pi over 2. And you could leave it like this, or you could pull out a half pi as a common factor. So you're going to have pi over 2, and then e to the 4 minus 1. And being a volume, I prefer to write units cubed. But that's up to you. You're not going to lose any extra marks if you leave off the units. OK, so I hope you've been able to uh, do that. Well done if you did. If not, hope you can see where you may have gone wrong.